morning, good morning, you guys. Me and Snowy just came back from a walk. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we just came from a walk and there is something special about going for a walk without anything playing in your AirPods, without your AirPods. You know, it is kind of uncomfortable, the thought of it, because whenever I do it, I'm like, I'm kind of craving the silence, but at the same time, the thought of just walking with my thoughts is a bit scary, but it's so worth it because there's so much that comes to your head. And today I was, you know, thinking and different thoughts were coming to my head and I got so motivated. I don't know what it is, but my motivation has been peaking. I mean, I kind of know what it is. As you probably know from the title of this video, I did not use any sort of social media with short form content. So, you know, Instagram or TikTok for 10 days. And it might seem like not a lot for most people, but when you spend so much time consuming content, you know, cause I'm a content creator and also just as a person, you know, all of us, we are most of us, we consume quite a lot of short form content. We just, you know, scroll and scroll and scroll. 10 days is a lot in a way of like, it's not even that it was hard, but it just made the biggest difference. And I'm honestly so grateful that I made that decision because I, I feel changed, I feel so motivated, I feel so much happiness from the small things, you know? But I guess I'm gonna talk about it later because now, you guys, I need to focus because I have a lot of things to do and at 2.30 I'm going with my friend to this opening of a, of a restaurant, like reopening of a restaurant of my friends. So uh, it's gonna be super fun. I'm super excited. It's like an Italian restaurant in Nicebridge. So I have something to work towards, you know? That's a super important thing when you, when you need to work on something, especially when it's something that you don't like. And I'm gonna be working on a school assignment from a subject that I absolutely hate. Like, I just don't, un it's not even that I don't understand it. It's just, I hate it, I don't like it. I don't have any sort of a flow whenever I write about it. So I need to work on it. And it's good to have something to look forward to once you finish the work. Because if there is nothing, it's like, oh, I need to finish it. And then who knows what I'm gonna do. It's it's kind of doesn't make sense. Like you're just, oh, I'm working on it. I need to work on it. As I said, it makes the biggest difference. So. I'm super excited for that, but now I have to get going. And I am honestly so freaking hungry because I forgot to eat my breakfast before going for a walk with Snowy. And recently I've been trying to eat breakfast like straight from bed, like just, I would get up, I eat my breakfast and I didn't do that today because I don't know, I just wanted coffee. So I drink coffee and you know how coffee is for your stomach. It makes you not hungry. And then once it, the hunger hits you, it hits you hard. <laughs> yogurt the best thing in the world honestly my mom put me on it uh, because she was here for two three weeks when I was gone in LA and she discovered it in a local store and I'm obsessed I'm obsessed it is so good it tastes different compared to supermarket like normal supermarket Greek yogurts and it's so good it's um Kokakis dairy farm authentic Greek yogurt so good Honestly, like if you have a chance, if you have it in your country, get it. Get it, you will not regret it. Oh, what a ride. Love it. <laughs> uh, but I got my breakfast. And recently I've been having a phase for Greek yogurt um, bowls, I guess, because I listened to this podcast about a month ago. And basically in this podcast, the guy was telling how it is important to start your day with a breakfast that's not gonna bring your blood sugar up too much because then it influences you know how you eat and your cravings throughout the day i can link it down below i'm gonna link it link the podcast because honestly life-changing like this is one of the podcasts that stay in your head for a long time you know like the information that you learned 
it stays with you for a long time because it's been a month and I've been thinking about this podcast every time I make food so basically first information that I learned is that the order in which you eat your food, your meal matters and basically you should start with veggies, with fiber and then you should move on to protein, then fats and at the end any carbs if you eat this way it kind of helps your blood sugar not spike as much and obviously if it doesn't spike that much it's not gonna crash and so you're not gonna have those sweet cravings uh, after the meal not too long after the meal because I'm such a dessert girl and I made a challenge for myself and I actually have a whiteboard with like a little grid where I cross out every single day because I have a 30 day no sweets challenge <laughs> and basically I feel like a child saying that but uh, yeah, I've been eating too much sweets recently and so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna take a break from it I still eat like honey and and obviously like more natural sugars and I know I know it doesn't make any difference Like it's still sugar for your body, but I just don't want like artificial sweets, you know, I don't know. We'll see um, But basically yeah, the second takeaway from the, the podcast is about the breakfast where it's like you should be starting your day with as little carbohydrates as possible maybe not as possible, but you want carbohydrates to be kind of like a dressing to your breakfast and not be the main event you know you don't want it to be the main ingredient of your breakfast this breakfast that i have here it might not be the best example of it because i have a banana i have granola i know but basically i've been trying to put more yogurt than granola in my in my yogurt bowls today it didn't work out but it's okay you know and honestly yeah i see the difference i see how I don't get those cravings straight away and I'm pretty like I don't snack because I'm the type who snacks a lot you know even my like anyone who knows me um, and you know have been with me for a while and like has, has lived with me they they tell me like my I you snack a lot and I'm like I know I know <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that but obviously yeah, like I don't think it's a good habit and it's a habit that I don't necessarily want in my life so I'm doing my best and it I can see it working so um, yeah, so that's why I keep on implementing it. And the podcast, honestly, life-changing. So you need to listen to it too. very much figuring out the camera that I'm using because I bought a camera about a year ago and I have not used it properly up until now uh, which is kind of embarrassing but well the time has come and I just finished doing some of the school work honestly I'm not gonna even lie to you guys it did not go well I could not focus at all like I even got the like a mushroom coffee that's supposed to help your concentration and your focus and it never fails me and today it failed me so I don't know I just I guess I just gave up you know like I'm not gonna fight my own brain and I might just do it later but for now I need to start getting ready for the meet up with my friend because I told her that I'm gonna go and pick her up from my favorite workout studio which is Oxford Circus Cycle, Cycle Oxford Circus. So yeah, so I need to go, but it's kind of on the way to the restaurant. So like, it doesn't make any difference for me. It was kind of my idea. So I just need to touch up my makeup and do those types of things. And oh my God, I've been obsessed with hair clips recently. I got this one and also a black one like this in LA. And I've been wearing them cause you know, I cut my hair and I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, like if I do it like that, it kind of looks nice, but I'm not gonna keep it like that, you know, it looks like, what are you doing? So, you know, and like this, like, I'm not convinced. I feel like I look like a, like a mom <laughs> and I don't want to look like that. So, um, yeah, I've been just looking for ways to kind of like style them in a way that's gonna make me look good and feel good. So I bought this clip and a black one, like the same in Target, I think, or something when I was in LA and I fell in love, but they are too small. Like, I don't have much hair, but I still have some. So I needed a big one <laughs> and this one works wonders. I got it from Arquette, I'm pretty sure. Oh my God, I don't know how. I did not know that, this, that a shop like Arquette exists up until very recently. One of my friends, Carolina, she, she told me about it. I was like, wait, what? I've never heard of it. I don't know how it happened. So yeah, that's my recommendation clips. I've been using them literally 
every single day. Okay, pretty ready. Pretty ready. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so for the outfit, I'm not changing from this because I mean it's pretty comfy, you know, I'm a bit bloated and I'm going for pasta so there needs to be some space and these jeans, I bought them too big so they are like, they're nice, <laughs> you know, I love wearing them because they are just so comfortable I know they kind of fall down but you know, it's style, it is style and I thought I'm gonna add this little I think it's a cotton plus wool blend, so it's kind of a warm jacket. And then I got this bag from a company called Ume. I ordered it to LA and it came here because there was like some problem with shipping. Um, it still has the tag, I need to take it off, but there's nothing in it by the way, so it like kind of hangs off my, off my shoulder, I'm gonna put stuff in there. So it's gonna be a bit less, you know, like floaty. But basically, I think it's chill, it looks cool you know on check yeah it looks okay and then i'm gonna do those chunky black boots just like you know um what are they called they are called what's the name it's not london boots it's chelsea boots chelsea boots yes i'm gonna put chelsea boots with that or just something of that sort i'm not a fashionista so don't take my advice unless you want it <laughs> but yeah so that's gonna be the outfit and now i have like 10 minutes left and i decided i'm gonna bring snowy with me if you have a dog you probably know traveling with a dog is like a it's a challenge it's a completely different challenge especially if the dog is small like snowy where you need to carry her and do stuff like that so yeah i'm bringing this little one she's been following me all around the house because she's like i know you're going somewhere stop fooling me i know you're going somewhere you're not gonna leave me yeah she said no Dark. <laughs> i just told her that she's coming with me and you know she knows what that means i love dogs they are just so smart but i'm gonna see you guys en route and let's have fun yes snowy come on snowy come on get her. tired i came back home about i don't know 30 minutes ago 40 minutes ago and i'm so exhausted that i literally changed i sat down i started using my phone and i was just like i don't know i don't know i'm just so tired i don't know what else i can do but yeah i wanted to do some work some more work especially that you know in the morning i didn't really manage to do much but i'm too tired so i did not do anything which is fine you know it's okay, I'm just gonna do it tomorrow. But I wanted to talk to you about, I guess, the topic, the title topic of this video, which is um, my social media break that I took over the last two weeks. Honestly, why I wanna talk about it is because this decision to you know, quit social media as a content creator for two weeks is one of the most life-changing decisions that I've made in the last months. And I'm not saying that lightly. I'm not just saying it, you know, just to say it. I mean it, uh, because if you asked Maya from five months ago to quit social media for two weeks, I would be like, hell no, like my life is gonna end, my career is gonna end, everything is gonna fall apart. I guess why I made that decision in the first place is social media was, was really overwhelming me for a while now. It's been like so daunting and overwhelming as I said and and whenever I would go on Instagram or on TikTok, I would feel so much negative energy and so much stress and so much pressure to create and get better and, and be consistent and everything. 
and to, like I would always find something that I'm doing wrong or something that is not enough with my account or whatever. And basically what I'm trying to say is there was so much negativity associated with Instagram for me. And another reason, and I think the biggest reason is, oh shit, <laughs> I almost fell off the bed. I started having those thoughts of how are you supposed to bring your own voice out, bring your own voice through your content out. If you're consuming so much of other people's content and other people's personalities and other people's lives, you know, not even in the context, in the content context, content context, just in general, how are you supposed to figure out, especially as a young person, you know, I'm turning 20 in May, in three months. How are you supposed to figure out who you are as a person if all you're seeing for hours and hours in your day is other people and their personalities? And let's be honest, so many of us just look at other people and they're like, oh my God, they are so cool. I want to be like them. And we try to, in a way, make ourselves more similar to them in some ways. Even if we're doing it subconsciously, I'm not saying, I mean, no, I'm sitting and analyzing someone's content or whatever and just being like, oh, I'm gonna be like them from tomorrow. I don't mean that. But yeah, we're just trying to be like someone because we like how someone is. But what about us and who we truly are in, our, in the core, you know? Because all we are is already within us. We don't need anyone else to show us who we are because we need to discover it ourselves. No one's gonna tell us, no one's gonna show us. No one is the same as we are. And so how, like, how are we benefiting from watching all of those people? We never, we were never meant to see all of those lives, all of those people, all of those successes and failures and anything. Like people up until, you know, these days have never seen anything like that. They would live in their community, in real life, not online. And they'd be surrounded by just this this bunch of people and that's it. And we see thousands, if not millions of lives, people, personalities, successes and whatever else. So the question that I started asking myself more and more, how am I supposed to figure out who I am and what I want to show online, how I want to speak my voice, speak my voice, I guess, through my content. If all I'm seeing is other people and I'm obviously getting influenced by it. So I was like, this is the only way. I need to just stop consuming the content and see what comes up. And I have to say that so much came up over those two weeks. So, so much. And I feel in tune with myself so much more than I did those two weeks ago. Because I remember talking in therapy and being like, literally three weeks ago or something, being like, I feel so, like I have nothing to look forward to every morning. Like I wake up and I'm like, what do I, what do I even do? Like it's like every day would stress me out so much. Cause I would be like, I have to do things. I have to record this or this. And my life would be so consumed with those, or my head would be so consumed with those have tos, you know? instead of being grateful and being kind of just passionate and being like, oh my God, I get to do this and that. I I was in a bad place and literally, I'm not even joking, making that little switch, literally uninstalling those two apps off my phone. Okay, I didn't actually uninstall it. TikTok, I left TikTok, but hear me out. I did not open it once over those two weeks. I just had it because of the drafts. I didn't want to lose my drafts for my, my private account, okay? That's all it is, don't judge me. <laughs> but it was just an instant change. Like the day I uninstalled my Instagram, I felt so much lighter, so much more free, so much happier. And like, I was actually looking forward to doing things. And literally like three days into my into my little detox, I was like, on a call with my mom and I was I was telling like, yeah, I'm in such a good mental space and, and I'm really, like I wake up and I have energy and I have so many ideas. I literally reorganized my whole room uh, because I was like, I was feeling inspired and I was feeling great. And I haven't done it. Like I was thinking about it for so long, but I never did it because I was like, ah, I can't be bothered. I don't have energy for that. Like I don't have the mental space to even think about it. And just one day I was around me, ah, I'm gonna do it, you know? But I was talking to my mom and she was like, but what do you mean? You're not in a good space. Like you were literally talking to me a few days ago and you were so like in such a bad spot. And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm good. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really good. Like I'm feeling amazing. 
I'm being so different. I'm definitely gonna be more intentional with my use of social media and I'm not gonna consume content. I definitely want to, I'm there to create and not to consume. That's one of the biggest principles that I want to bring out of this journey with me through the next months, years. Less consuming, more creating. I actually posted a story about it today. So less consuming, more creating, less envy, more inspiration, less comparison, more individuality. Yeah, just being much more smart with how you use social media. I don't know, let me know what you think if you've ever tried taking a break from social media. I feel like I could talk more about it. Maybe one day if I have a podcast, I can share more. Just hinting here a little bit, who knows, who knows? But yeah, it was such a good decision. And honestly, if you need it, this is your sign. Uninstall Instagram right now, as you're watching it, just uninstall it, uninstall TikTok and live a little. Honestly, life is so much better when you're not following everyone and you don't know. Some days I catch myself thinking like, oh, I'm curious what's happening with this person or that person. Oh, I'm curious if maybe some announcements, you know, like I missed some announcement over those two weeks. But then I'm like, and? And what? Like, is your life gonna change if you, if you, if you, like, is it gonna make any impact on your life? Not really. Like, so yeah, this is your sign. Who knows? Let me know if you decide to to take that little detox break. And yeah, and I'm just gonna chill. Take it slow, cause work is not gonna work. <laughs>